10 years ago. No, not 8 to 10 it's years. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Oh my God. Oh my God. And she's been getting people motivated, getting on that beat. But Melandra, let's hear your story. Let's hear what Melandra, who's, who is Melandra? Well, I am a mother. I'm an educator. I'm an inspirational leader. I, I like to say that a hashtag, I'm your motivator. I am your cheerleader. And Get On That Beat is a movement. It started back 10 years ago. Wow. Um, initially, initially, when I was at uh, LA Fitness Trinetta, mm -hmm. Trinetta mm -hmm. we started out in boot camp. Absolutely. And I was known as What's the Count? Yes, I remember that! What's the Count? Yes! So I would be in class. Yes. My friend Travis, shout out to Travis, Travis. Rosier. Oh he my would God. be counting down and I'll be yelling, What's the Count? What's, What's the, the count? count? She did, she did. And from there, it transitioned to Get On That Beat. Yes, But yes. what was happening is, the energy that I was projecting, oh, yeah. my voice oh, yeah. was uh, being a help to people. So at the end of class, people would come to me and state that, you know, oh, I love your energy. Thank you so much. I needed that. I had a rough day. Yes. Are you your in the energy. military? Yes. Are you and military? So, I am not military. Oh, okay. Some people have asked me, are you a preacher? <laughs> you, you have your own ministry, though. Fitness and motivating people. And you, that you, I mean, it is. Absolutely. You, that's your ministry. Absolutely. So over the years, guys, it transitioned from boot camp to spin class, and I continue to yell, get on that beat. Just again, just trying to help people push through. Right. To keep going, get through the class, maximize the workout. And um, roughly two years ago, shout out to Kwame with it, who um, is one of my good friends. Uh, he suggested to me, you know, Melandra, do something with get on that beat. Yes. Put it on a shirt. Do some, but you need to do something with that. Yeah, that 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 has some has some meaning to it. Power. Then other Words people, are powerful. absolutely, other people start encouraging me, Trinetta. Oh and, my God. you know, eventually I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and just start this business. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it. And from there, Trinetta, it has been nothing but a blessing. Right. Um, so many people have supported me, have yes. encouraged me. Yes. And I am absolutely just amazed at what is taking place. I just made a year in being in business. All right, get on that beat.com. Yes. yes. You said really nice website. You guys check it out and definitely support get on that beat.com. What is the meaning and what is the meaning behind get on that beat? People ask me that all the time. What does it mean? Get on that beat is twofold. Mm -hmm. Number one, as it relates to fitness and health, when you get on that beat, when you're working out, the goal is to try to keep up with the cadence of the music, keep up with the instructor at, at yes. hand, yes. so that you can maximize your calorie burn yes. and your muscle development. Yes. And there may be times where you have to take a break or get some water, catch mm -hmm. your breather, mm -hmm. but then you have to decide, you know what? I'm not done. That's right. Let me go back in class Finish and it. get on that beat. Get on that beat! <laughs> but also, it applies to life. Get on that beat applies to life. There, there, we must align ourselves with our purpose in life. Yes. And, and, and we have to get on that beat. And though trials and tribulations come our way, and they will come. Some of you are facing some things right now. And you may get knocked down. You may need to take a time out. Whatever that requires. And But the goal is for you to jump back in and align and with purpose. Get, and get on, on that beat. beat. <laughs> How do you stay motivated? How do you, you know? Um, I stay motivated through uh, listening to encouraging words, um, inspirational music, through prayer. I surround myself with mm -hmm. people who are positive, who mean me well, that is important. That's right. You know, and um, and I I have to tell myself, get on that beat. Right. In a lot of ways. Encourage you know, yourself. Encourage myself. And so, you know, and with all of those different avenues, um, 
that I surround myself with, I'm able to stay motivated. Again, I fall off sometimes. There are times that yeah, I, yeah, I people get don't off think like and, yeah. You know, sometimes we get off beat, but we gotta what get, get on, on that, that beat. beat. Get now, on that beat. you're one of the very few people I have to commend you that. You know, I've been going to the gym for years, and I don't see many people make drastic changes. You know, they might just like coming, and that's fine. Yeah. But I've seen you change, you know, and change people. Now, how did exercise change your life? Well, through exercise, you know, I am an educator, and this is my 20th year, actually. Wow, congratulations. A, uh, Give it up for the educators out there. Yes. <laughs> you know, and so exercise is actually my way to release what okay. I take in during the day. I right. put out a lot of energy right. when I'm teaching my students. Now, and what grade do nature. you teach? I currently have third grade. Wow, yeah. you need that. You yeah. need it. It's like your, your health plan. Absolutely. Part of it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So, when I go to the gym, I am releasing the, the, the stresses of the day, and I feel much better. Many times I don't feel like going, but once I make the, the step and get my mind right and say, you know what, get on that beat and go ahead and do that, Absolutely. then I feel much better. Absolutely. And as a result, you know, over the years, I've battled with weight loss, being inconsistent, eating, things of that nature. As of the last three years, I've become more serious about my journey um, as it relates to my health and just being better. I, you know, there are different conditions that have run in my family, but I'm, I'm making the decision. I'm overcoming those so, things. So with all that, because we're coming into a new year soon, Absolutely. Um, what do you find most challenging about getting on that beat and getting to that gym? What's most, because you, your mom, your educator, what, what's most, what do you find most challenging? For me, most challenging is my eating. Um, Ooh, because yeah. <laughs> a lot of times when I am dealing with work and life, um, I like to turn to my comfort foods mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they make me feel good. Mm -hmm, Not mm -hmm. good for me, but they make me feel good. Right, and for of the course, moment. <laughs> right. And everybody say, in, there are many people that say in moderation. Right. And so that's what I'm working on, moderation. Not saying that I completely cut out those comfort foods. Right. However, I know as I'm growing older, I can't continue to intake things that are working against my health when I'm trying to get on that beat to better health. Right. And live a long life. Right. A no. health, long, healthy life, right? Absolutely. So we all have different challenges. I know a lot of, sometimes I get bad, they call them cluster headaches. Mm. So we're all battling with something and when you see us getting on that beat and smiling, it's not because we're not challenged, uh, we're not challenged in some areas. So Absolutely. I won't, won't, don't want people to think that we're not challenged. We are very challenged, but it's how bad do you really want it? How bad do you want how it? How bad do you want it? And when you work out, actually, it's, it's, it makes you feel better. It, it makes does. you feel better, it releases endorphins. It does. Now you have get on that beat shirts for men, kids. We saw M Melanja's daughter, <laughs> <laughs> Destiny, my Destiny, you want to show, let Destiny, we want to see, come on Destiny, we want to see the shirt again. We have the kids, you have, go ahead Destiny. This Do is your my walk. baby girl. This is Destiny, <laughs> say hi to the audience. Hi. Now show them the hoodie, there's a hoodie pocket, so She's Put your wearing hoodie, hoodie on. Get on that beat hoodie. Put the hoodie, um, hoodie on. Let's see the hoodie. And so on my Turn website. Turn it around, honey. Spin it. <laughs> well, there you go. They, all right. Thank you. Give it up for Destiny. Yeah. 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 So you have for children. You have for men. On my website, currently I have for men and women mm -hmm. and also hats. Um, I okay. will be bringing in children soon enough. But I just launched my website. And okay. so please, I, I ask of you to... Uh, visit www.getonthatbeat.com right. and support the movement because Absolutely. it is a movement. When you get on that beat, it starts in your mind. We have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And when we get on that beat in our minds and master that area where we have gotten on that beat, now we can help somebody else and help them get on that beat. And that's where the movement, you've got to move. Remember, you've got to move, but also you can help somebody else move. There you and go. that's how the movement. We have to get out of ourselves and help others. Absolutely. Now, um, if you've been watching the Trinetta Love Show, you know about the Trinetta Truth Game, right? Where there's no right or wrong answers. Uh, so I'm gonna ask you a question. There's no right or wrong answers. Okay. But I, I need you just to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Okay. okay All sure. right, here we go. Which would you rather? Lift weights, swim, rock climb, spin? Spin. Choose one. Mother, educator, CEO, BFF. Mother. Tupac or Biggie? Tupac. 
Cardi B or Lil' Kim? Lil' Kim. The Rock or The Hulk? Rock. Bruno Mars, Katy Perry, or Rihanna? Bruno. Spreading love and positive energy. One beat at a time. Get on that beat! Yes! You guys have to check out Melandra. Get on that beat. She is such a wonderful, positive, energetic spirit. And like she was saying, it's just not about you. Like, we can get on that beat. You have upbeat personalities and we can push ourselves, Absolutely. but we want to push people outside of ourselves. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, I'm just so pumped up about this Get On That Beat movement. Yes. Let's make it a nationwide movement! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. So what the, when people come up to you, do they ask, what kind of questions do you get? You know, after you're motivating everybody, especially in spin class. The number one question I usually get is, what is the purpose? What does get on that beat mean? Right. And by the time I'm done explaining, even down to the actual logo itself, my brand, I purposely, when I created this. Is that a heartbeat? Is that the monitor? It is. I love I it. I purposely wanted this incorporated in beat because what you need to understand is, as long as you wake up and got life, mm. you've got purpose to fulfill. That means drop, that drop, you can drop, get drop. on that beat. Get on that beat. Get on that beat. Get on that beat. I'm so pumped up. Melandra, is there anything you want to say to the T-Stars viewing audience, Trinetta Love Show? Anything else you want to say before we get on that beat and get on out of here? Friends, I just want to encourage you during this time where there is so much going on in our lives and around us, love yourself. Make the necessary adjustments that you need to make that will work for you and help you get on that beat. And when you do, then help somebody else. Because at the end of the day, it's all about spreading love and positive energy. The world needs love. But the need world needs <laughs> now That's it. is love, sweet love. That's the kind of thing oh. that I'm talking about. Yes, yes. well, I definitely appreciate you coming on the Trinetta Love Show. Destiny, thank you, thank you for having me. Destiny, thank you, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. you. And like I said, we're coming into a new year and those words of motivation is definitely gonna come in handy for all of us. All right, Melandra, well you know what I do before I end the show. Before I go, I want you to know, you weren't born to lose, nor was I. So go out there and reach for the sky. You can't lose as long as you try. I believe in you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.